During today's lesson, we are going to learn how to research information from right within our Google Doc and also to make sure that we cite our source. So log on to your Gmail accounts and click on Drive and Docs. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the Create button and then click Document. For today, let's just type the words Emperor Penguin. And to make sure that our research is more refined and looking for exactly what we want, I'm going to type a further word called migration. So it will be doing a search on emperor penguin migration. So I'm going to left click before the E and then use my mouse to scroll over all of the information and highlight it all. Now I'm going to right click on it and click on research. You may receive a pop-up, and if you do, you're going to click on No. But on the right-hand side, now you're going to see that there's some Emperor Penguin information. We can see some pictures, um, some high-level information, and also there's a listing of websites. So I'm going to go to one that looks like it has some information about migration. And this first one looks good, so I'll click on Emperor Penguin. And I can see right here is some information about migration. So I'm going to left click beside it. And then again, using my mouse, I'm going to highlight all the information, move my arrow over the highlighted information, and then right click on it and copy. Now I need to go back to my document. And I'm going to put the information on the next line. So let me hit the enter key. And now I'm going to right click and paste the information into my document. So here it is. Now since we took this information directly from the website and we didn't change it in any way, what we need to make sure is to give credit to that website where the information came from. So if you move your mouse over that website, you can see that it offers me the option to cite my source. So if I click on cite, you're going to see it puts a little number right there. Number one, so that I'll know it has to do with the first footnote. And we can find my footnote down in the footer of my document. So you can see right here is my one and all of the information about that website in MLA format. So if we ever had a question about where that information came from, it will be right there. If you have any questions in the future about or need to remember how to do research within your Google Doc or cite your source, you can always go back to our school's Porta Portal and click on Recorded Lessons and you can review the lesson.